This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Rachie Bob here. Welcome to another Sims Mobile video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Sim Festival and daily tasks, mainly daily tasks in this video, because these are kind of merged into one thing. They use the same process in the game. There's no festival season currently active as you can see in my game right now I've got early access so I can see the daily tasks so this is how it's going to appear when there isn't a sim festival active there should always be a sim festival active but there might be a little gap of a few days between them so sometimes it will look like this you'll still have goals to achieve it just what worked was the prizes um, if you want to see the prizes for the upcoming sim festival you can check the link in the description there's to the update schedule it's all in there and it's also broken into chapters so you don't have to watch the full thing you can just see the prizes if you want to if you think it'd be helpful for me to do a sim festival walkthrough please do let me know and i'll do that when the when it's actually live in the game but for now let's just focus on the daily task systems this is quite similar to how it used to be and um, if you played a long time before lamazoom we did have daily tasks to do um, this just is running a slightly different way it definitely looks much better but it's also got slightly different goals and rewards and things it's also pretty similar to llama zoom but you don't have to do a massive chunk to get anything you can just do bits and bobs like you can see here we've got some one is to complete five daily tasks we can purchase things do make sure you actually purchase them and you're not just placing ones you already own so we'll tick some off in a minute and this refreshes at midnight your time. You can still get llama zoom tokens, but they're now called llama tokens. So they still exist. And you can also skip through the tasks. So let's just complete an eco workshop shift. I'm gonna use my currency just to skip through this though, just to show you guys. Okay, so let's imagine that we're actually doing this and I'll just speed up through it. Obviously you don't have to. And you can see now task completed it moves it to the left hand side when it's done and ready to collect and then we can collect that if we wanted to rush through one so we had some sim cash and we really wanted that reward we could then just tap to use the sim cash you can see it's 40 sim cash for this one okay so i'll rush through that and you can see there it's tapped off two of our daily tasks so it's still counts gives you something to aim towards each day if you do want extra tasks you can see here you can add up to three extra tasks but it will have a cost to it so currently we can buy that for 1500 simoleons so i'll just purchase that and that gives us a new task it could be anything then the next extra task we can get for 20 sim cash and then the next one the final one is 30 sim cash just to give you an idea of how much that will cost you. So I'm just gonna rush a couple of these now. You can see the variety of events that are available. It kind of is very similar to Lama Zoom, but just formatted in a completely different way. Plus it's working towards things within the Sim Festival when there is one active, which there usually will be. And then we can just collect that. And that gives our Lama Zoom, sorry, llama ticket token <laughs> and we can still carry on with our individual daily tasks but once we've done these ones then they're basically all done so in the sim festival as you work your way through the daily tasks it will then unlock prizes so as you gain points through the daily tasks you will then go through and earn prize tickets from these tasks to then unlock prizes exclusive to that sim festival season and one that we will have when this game updates is the celebrity life event there will be a, a free track and a paid track but either way you're going to have to work through there's just extra prizes if you pay for the paid prize track which is called the festival pass but you can absolutely play for free and get some extra rewards there and you can purchase the festival pass at any time during the full sim festival it will just if you buy it 
on the 40th day, you will then just get all the rewards from the previous ones that you've passed with your prize tickets. And if you don't actually physically collect all of those before when it's expired, if you don't go through and tap and collect the, and the event expires, they will just put them in your inventory so you won't lose anything. This will also sometimes include bake-off events as daily tasks. Anything that's active in the game could spawn as a daily task, including treasure hunts and whatever's going on. So as you're working towards your treasure hunt prizes, for example, you're still going to be making progress towards your daily goals for the Sim Festival because it's always active. So I think that's everything for this um, daily task system. Just a brief little overview showing you how it works and what sort of things to expect. But please do let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and good luck with it. I hope it really adds to your game. And I think that's what it should do, the fact that it, it is there and there'll be a sim festival live. It should add to your game, not create stress. The fact that it's constantly there gives you something to work towards, but you absolutely don't have to. It just gives you extra bonuses as you go through your day or your sims day and gives you a bit of direction. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.